Mr. Nova here guys and today we're gonna be diving into the ocean mystery iceberg. Now for everyone that doesn't know what an iceberg is, it's pretty much all these crazy mind bending facts and theories all combined into one video. Tier 1 meaning the least mind blowing to tier 10 being the most mind blowing. So just keep that in mind, some are modified and some will have more than 5, some of them will have 6 tiers. But just to let you guys know, this is the Ocean Mystery Iceberg, and I hope you guys enjoy these type of videos. I will give you guys all the time, and this is Tier 1. Enjoy. More than 80% of the ocean unexplored. More than 80% of the ocean has never been mapped, explored, or even seen by humans. A far greater percentage of the surfaces of the moon and the planet Mars has been mapped and studied of our own ocean floor, meaning that we studied the planet Mars and the moon more than our own ocean. That's mind blowing. Atlantis. The idea of Atlantis was an actual historical place and not just a legend invented by Plato. Didn't surface until the late 19th century in his 1882 book Atlantis, the Andaluvian world. Some say it was sank by the Bermuda Triangle. Others say the location is in the Antarctica. The world may never know, but what it is true is that there's many mysteries for Atlantis. The Kraken. One popular theory attempting to explain the existence of the Kraken is that the based on sightings of giant squids. These deep dwellers can reach outstanding sizes with size measuring up to 43 feet, 13 meters in length. Crazy sightings have been seen in recent years due to popular social media events. Mermaids. In folklore, a mermaid is an aquatic creature with the head of an upper body, a female human, and the tail of a fish. Mermaids have appeared all over the world recently due to social media being currently viral or active. As you know, many sightings have been, you know, f just pranks, but other sightings have never been discovered on why they happened. It's very interesting. Are they out there? Maybe. Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, is an urban legend focused on a loosely defined region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean, where a number of aircraft and ships are said to have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. The idea of the area is unlikely prone to disappearances arose in the mid 20th century, but most reputable sources dismiss the idea that there's any mystery. Now due to social media demands, the subject has come up again. Is the Bermuda Triangle real? Is there some sort of EMP or some sort of intergalactic portal? The world may never know. The Megalodon. The Megalodon is an extinct species of giant macleral shark that lived approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago. And from the early Miocene to the Fliocene Megalodon was formerly thought to be a member of the family of the Lamnidae, a cross letter live of the great white shark. These great, great sharks have been supposedly rumored to be living down in the trenches of the deep, deep ocean. Know that most of our ocean has never been discovered, so many people have believed that there's a big, giant Megalodon still lurking in the deep ocean floors. Thalassophobia, the persistent and intense fear of deep bodies of water, such as the sea, oceans, or lakes. Top very closely related to thalassophobia should not be confused with acophobia, which is classified as the fear of water itself. Thalassophobia can include fear of being in deep bodies of water Fear of the vast emptiness of the deep, dark ocean, sea waves, or aquatic creatures. Many people have this pretty much effective fear, and this is what it's called. 
old sea monsters. Old sea monsters are beings from folklore or legends passed down believed to dwell in the sea or often be imagined to be immense size. Marine monsters can take many forms including sea dragons, sea serpents, or tentacle beasts or often pictured threatening ships or spouting jets of water. All these sea monsters are rumored to be living in the deep deep ocean as most of our ocean floors have yet to be discovered or even seen. So this is the start of tier two. This is a little bit more intense. So you start to get more open-minded the deeper we go into the tiers. So let's start with tier two. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The amount of debris in the Pacific Garbage Patch accumulates because of much trash Many plastics, for instance, do not wear down. They simply break into tinier, tinier pieces. For many people, the idea of garbage patch conjures up images of an island trash floating in the ocean. And that's pretty much what's going on today. There's just big, big ocean island sized garbage patches. The green flash. Green flashes occur because the Earth's atmosphere can cause the light from the sun to separate or refract into different colors. Green flashes are a group of similar phenomena that stem from the slight difference causes and therefore some type of green flashes are more common than others. And it's very nice because it normally sets in the sunset and you see a big flash of green. The Loch Ness Monster Affectionately known as Nessie, it's a mythical creature in Scottish folklore that is said to have it Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands. It is often described as a large, long-necked and with one or more humps from the water. Popular interest and belief in the creature has varied since it was brought to the worldwide attention in 1933, which is very interesting because no one can prove it or deny it yet. Milk Sea Phenomenon, also called Moreal. The milk sea is caused by bioluminescent bacteria, billions of trillions of them, that live throughout the water column from the surface of the sea floor. Mesmerized sailors in the 1800s had absolutely no idea what causing the effect, but were pretty sure it was something sinister and mysterious. So legends carried on throughout the years until science came and pretty much brought these statistics. The bloop sound. The bloop is given the name of a mysterious underwater sound recorded in the 90s. Others think it's a big underwater, undiscovered ocean creature that could range as big as the Empire State Building. Due to how loud the bloop sounded, it's an inconclusive theory pretty much. But take a listen, this is pretty much the recordings of what they heard. On to tier three. This keeps getting crazier and crazier, so keep your open minded opened. The cast second, dubbed the Ghost Jaw, is a 9.8 meter, which was found drifting 88 nautical miles, 163 kilometers, off the northern eastern coast of Australia on April 20th, 2007. The faith of the three man crew remains unknown and the mysterious circumstances in which they disappeared have been compared to that of the Mary Celeste in 1872. The ghost yacht pretty much just showed up on shore one time with nobody in sight, no distress or any signs of anything happening, just empty and disappeared. Very mysterious. Mary Celeste Mary Celeste was a Canadian-built American registered merchant boat that was discovered adrift and deserted in the Atlantic Ocean off the Azores Islands on the 7th 4th, 1872. With her lifeboat missing, the last entry in the log was dated 10 days earlier, the cargo of alcohol was intact, and the captain's and crew's personal belongings were undisturbed and also intact. None of those who had been on board were ever seen or heard from again. Very mysterious and unexplained. 
Tier 4. Get ready. HMS Deadless Sea Serpent. The sea serpent was once little more than a monster of Norwegian folklore. During the 19th century, various supposed sightings of the creature, mainly in the Atlantic, lent some public and scientist credibility as a real animal. A particularly influential sighting occurred from the British naval vessel Daedalus in 1848. There's no doubt that something remarkable passed by that ship on an August afternoon and that the Delius case has remained one of the most famous and possibly maritime mysteries of our history. The Baltic Sea Anomaly is a featured visibly on an instinct sonar image taken by Peter Lindbergh, Dennis Amberg, and their Swedish Ocean X diving team while treasure hunting on the floor of the northern Baltic Sea at the center of the Gulf of Bothen. In June 2011, the team suggested their sonar image showed an object with unusual features of seemingly known natural origin, prompting speculations published in tabloid newspapers that the object was a sunken UFO, and the pictures really do resemble an object due that similar to a UFO. What do you think? Tier 5 Get ready because we're just getting more and more deep into the iceberg. The U-28 creature, it's a 60 feet crocodile, was an enormous reptilian creature sighted once only briefly in the North Atlantic during the First World War. The animal was named after the German submarine who crew spotted it after a brief engagement with the British steamer. It is said to be a 60 feet crocodile of some sort most people couldn't really verify that it was a crocodile, but they could really tell that it had scaly-like features like a crocodile, and it was definitely around 60 feet in length, which is very, very big. The Montauk Monster was an animal carcass that washed ashore on a beach near the business district of Montauk, New York in July 2008. The identity of the creature and the veracity of stories surrounding it have been the subject of controversy and speculation. The corpse was eventually decided by experts to be one of a water-degraded raccoon, but if you can clearly see in the picture, many have yet to debate that due to the weird looking of the pretty much supposedly raccoon, but many believe it's a Montauk monster that truly just washed up ashore. What do you think? The Sargasso Seaweed According to old lore, a carnivorous seaweed is the Sargasso Sea, were responsible for the disappearance of several crews in the 1800s. This body of water is known for its massive accumulation of sargassum, a particular type of dense brown seaweed, but also for its calm, warm waters. It is therefore surprisingly that in these very waters, several empty ships have been found whose cruise members have disappeared without a trace. For example, in 1840, the French merchant ship Rosalie sailed through the Sargasso Sea and was later discovered with sail set but no crew members on board. Very interesting. The Strongsay Beast was a large lobster that washed ashore on the land of Strongsay at the time spelled Stronsa in the Orkney Islands of Scotland. After a storm on the 25th September 1808, the carcass measured 55 feet in length without a part of its tail. The Natural Historic Society could not identify the carcass and decided it was a new species, probably or maybe a sea serpent or some sorts. Tier 6, the last tier on this iceberg and one of the most mind-blowing, fascinating tiers of them all. The St. Augustine Monster is the name given to a large carcass originally postulated to be remains of the gigantic octopus that washed ashore on the United States coast near St. Augustine, Florida in 1896. It is sometimes referred to as the Florida Monster or the St. Augustine Giant Octopus 
and it is one of the earliest recorded examples of a globster, which is very, very interesting. One of these pictures seems to be very, I guess, mind-blowing. The Phantom Island. Set to lie in the Atlantic Ocean west of Ireland, Irish myths described it as a cloaked in mist except for one day every seven years when it becomes visible, but it could not still be reached. Several 16th century maps showing the island of Brazil also showed an island labeled Dimar further southwest. Due to the Phantom Island being so popular, many have tried to go find it, but it's only visible one time every seven years. And even if you do spot it and you start sailing towards the direction of the island, mystery says that you can never truly reach it. What do you think? Ninjan Creature The legend surrounding the Ninjan began in 2007 or in a forum post on the Japanese online forum websites, which claims that the members of a whale research ship witnessed the creature as it surfaced near the ship off the Antarctic coast. Originally thinking it was a submarine, the crew went to take a closer look, but the submarine vanished into the waves. Also seen again on YouTube in 2010, as you can see, it shows very clearly a weird creature with two legs just walking. Very interesting, and many have tried to go find a creature, but have yet to find it. What do you think? The 1997 whistle sound was recorded on July 7, 1997, and only one hydrophone, the underwater microphones used by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, picked it up. The location is unknown and limited information has made it difficult to speculate on the source. But as you can hear, it's very interesting. Take a listen. Unidentified Sagami Bay creature, captured by a group of scientists diving in 2010, captures wildlife at the bottom of the sea. Near the end of the video, you get to see two-eyed creature at the bottom of the ocean floor. No one has yet to identify the species, making many to believe a mystery creature lays at the bottom of the Sagami Bay. What do you think? The Bimini Road. Located in the Bahamas, it's an underwater rock formation that stretches for about half a mile long the shallow waters of the Bimini western shore. Ever since its discovery in 1968, it has been speculated that this is particularly the underwater road could be the road that leads to the lost city of Atlantis. What do you think? So guys, those are all the iceberg mysteries and theories I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment what type of iceberg you want me to do next as I enjoy doing these type of videos and I would love to give you guys more content like this. But as always, I'm Mr. Nova and stay safe. See you guys.